What's up, guys? Pastor JT here, and I'm excited to bring um, our devotional for this morning. And before I dive into it, I just want to say uh, how grateful myself and Pastor Eric are to um, be able to pastor such amazing students and families. Um, students, we love you guys. We miss you guys. We miss seeing you on a Sunday and a Wednesday. Um, but I'm so excited that this past Wednesday we got to do Purpose Students Live, which was a really fun time. So uh, if you weren't there, if we weren't able to make it that Wednesday, this past Wednesday, we would love to see you next Wednesday online because it is a fun interactive way uh, to engage church and parents I just want you to know how much we love and how much we're praying for you and uh, we understand that you probably dealing with a lot uh, I've seen the grocery stores I've seen a lot of people just working so hard and I just want you to know myself pastor Eric and the entire staff is just praying for you we're here for you that we are better together and that if you need any prayer or or you need anything please reach out to us because we would love to support you in during this time but for today's word of encouragement what I wanted to look at is I want to look at the book of James so if you have a Bible open it up to James because I love the book of James. It's a great book and I love the first two verses, verses two and three. Um, I feel like in the time we're at right now, it's more relevant than ever before. And I believe that this verse can really do a lot of good things for us right now as we're facing uh, the coronavirus. And it says this in verse two, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And I love that because it says, consider it pure joy. You see, we are going to face trials. This is a trial we're facing, if we're honest. The coronavirus is something that we didn't expect, but it's here. And because of it, we're on lockdown. We can't really go out. We can't do a lot. Most of us, we can't um, you know, go play sports. We can't even go to church in person. There's a lot of things coming at us. But I love it because James is telling us to still be joyful. And I know some of us listening to this right now, we're like, how can I be joyful? I've, I'm watching the same Netflix shows. I'm, I, don't I can't even hang out with my friends. What am I, how is this a joyful time, Pastor JT? Well, it's a joyful time right now because what's going on is do, it's producing this. It's testing our faith and it's producing the perseverance. You see, we're being tested right now. This is something that is testing our faith but we're gonna be faithful, we're gonna stand firm on this because we know that it is producing perseverance. And I, I really believe once we get through this storm, more people are gonna to come to know Jesus, more people are gonna start asking questions. So I wanna challenge you students to spend time with God. Spend 30 minutes a day with God, 30 minutes a day, and just meditate on his word. You know, I also would love to see families come together, read the Bible together, and share some joyful moments together. You know, have that time because right now there's so much hurt, there's so much sadness, there's so much brokenness going on. But what I realized is in order to heal that, we need to spend time with Jesus. We need to be in his word. So I wanna put that challenge out there. Students, spend 30 minutes with God every day. Pastor Eric talked about that this past Wednesday and I wanna reiterate it today to spend 30 minutes with God, un uninterrupted time with him. Put the phones away um, and just sit there and read his word. And also to spend time with your family and to share joyful moments together because I promise you when you do that, you'll have a new perspective on this virus and God is going to do some amazing things during this season. But what I wanted to do is I just wanna pray for us real quick. I just wanna pray before we close and I wanna reiterate Students, parents, if you need anything, you want to talk to anybody, please reach out to us because we're here for you. We love you. We care about you. And I believe that God is going to do some mighty things during this season. But let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your day. Father, we thank you for who you are. God, we thank you that um, we, can con we can consider it pure joy during the season. Why? Because you're with us through the storm. God, I want to pray for the students watching this, the parents watching this. God, Lord, I pray that they know that they're loved that they're cared for, that we're here for them, that we're standing with them, and that we're walking with them. Father, I pray that you use this coronavirus as an opportunity to connect with people, to minister to more people, to love people better. Father, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you for what, how you're utilizing the church in a different way, God. And Lord, we look forward to the day where we can come together again in person, God. But Lord, 
We're gonna utilize the tools you've given us to reach people and to put on an amazing experience for families and students, God. Lord, we love you, it's your name, amen, amen, amen. Y'all wanna clap, that'd be great too. Um, but we want you to know, we love you guys. Um, this Sunday, we're watching service online, so please watch with your family, watch online. Pastor Eric is gonna be hosting, so you'll get to see him. And we look forward to just hearing from you guys, but we're here with you, we love you, we miss you, and we can't wait to see you uh, real soon. God bless, and have a great day.